hello guys welcome to my channel so today we're going to do this nice beautiful subtly soft valentine's look we are going to start off with this primer from essence and i'm just going to prime my face with this like it's a very nice hydrating primer i like to be very hydrated under my makeup so next i'm going in with this relaxing fix spray and just making sure that my makeup is going to hold the whole day i'm going in with this concealer from nyx and concealing my under eye as you can see i do not use a lot of concealer you can always add more but it's very hard to take something off so just take a little bit and i conceal everything that i need to conceal like around my nose because i get quite red and where i have uh, marks so next i'm going to set my brows with this got to be glued eyebrow gel so my eyebrows are dyed like tinted so i'm not going to do a lot with them just set them with this gel and yeah and then i'll let them dry and then i'm going to form them like set the eyebrows and this is like a clean spoolie with nothing on So the next thing is I'm going to go in with this liquid bronzer from Sheen. This bronzer is so good you guys. It's so good. Um, the color I have is almost like it's matching my skin pretty much. But it still gives me this nice subtle bronzy look that I just love. So yeah I'm just going to blend it out before I put on my foundation so what is your plan for Valentine's Day me I'm just going to stay home be with myself like always you know I love my own company so I'm not complaining but I hope that you can use this makeup look even if you're not going anywhere and just want to look good for yourself baby because you're allowed to do that so yeah, I'm just going to continue blending it and making sure there's no hard streak because the next thing I'm going in is to, with this foundation from Chanel. I'm going in with one pump and I'm putting the foundation the places where I did not put the bronzer. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with the setting spray again. I use quite a lot of setting spray. <laughs> yes, and then I'm just going to blend with a brush. I've never been a sponge girl. I really, really tried. But the sponges was just not me. So I'm going in. And as you can see, I'm kind of avoiding the places where I put the bronzer on. But you can also, like if you use an actual contour, you can go over the contour with your foundation with no problem Now I'll be going back to focusing on the brow so I'm taking this brow pencil from Christmas Cosmetics and I'm just focusing on the tails of the brows since the brows are already dyed I don't need to do a lot just on the tail and then I'm going in with the concealer and shaping the brows with the concealer I'm starting quite thin in the front and then I'm going a bit thicker uh, like at the end of the tail as you can see and I will be doing the exact same thing on the other brow. <laughs> and remember, brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Or was it cousin? cousins? I don't remember. But your brows don't need to be 100% perf perfect to be beautiful. Okay? So I, whatever is left on the brush, I go I go in like over the brows just to shape them a little bit more I don't 
put extra product on there no no and of course i'm just going to blend it and make sure especially on the top that is perfectly blended so it doesn't look like gross so when i'm blending the like the lower part of my brows the front part i kind of blend it totally out but when i get to the end i just lightly blend it but not completely so i get that white bright look the next thing i'm going in with this lipstick from kiko as you can see i use a lot of it i use this lipstick as my liquid blush is it liquid it's i use it as a blush and because it's a bit dry i go in with a sailing spray again and blend it out And then I'm going again with uh, with the setting spray and I'm going to blend my under eye concealer and just making sure that it's totally blend I usually take it all the way up so I make this high triangle that makes my face look more slim because I have a very round face I tend to do it like that so I make my face look slimmer of the concealer on the side of my nose to make my nose uh, like the nose contour a bit easier for me so the next thing I'm going in is this powder from the makeup library and I'm going to use this powder all over my face to set my base um, I put it everywhere basically and I concentrate on my under eyes I don't put a lot I actually put quite little like I don't put a lot of powder it's just enough to set my makeup so it doesn't move around the whole day. Then I'm going in with the same brand but in the color medium. The other color I used was dark. And in the, the color medium I used to like highlight and set my under eye concealer. I also like use it on my chin and my forehead to brighten up my face. The next thing I'm going in with the concealer on my eyelid, I'm going to use it as a primer. Oh my god, I can speak as a primer, and then I'm just going to blend it out so it gets totally blended out. Then I'm gonna use whatever was left on the puff to set the concealer like the eyeshadow primer that I did the next thing is I'm going to bronze my face with this bronzer from revolution in the color dark I'm just making sure that I don't I don't put too much because as you can see it's quite pigmented and if you put too much it's just going to look weird and it's quite hard to take off when you already put something on so just put a little bit at a time you can always build it up and don't do like me <laughs> as you can see I know what I'm talking about build it up instead of just putting a lot and try to blend it that just makes your life so much harder and I put the bronze at the places where I put the liquid bronzer before and just make sure you blend it out properly so you don't get any harsh lines or you don't make it look muddy 
we don't want a muddy looking bronzer i'm going in with this um brush and the bronzer to contour my nose i don't like to overly contour my nose i still want my nose to look like my nose just a little bit more defined the next thing is i'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette from christmas cosmetic and i'm going in with these two colors uh, as an eyeshadow and together they're quite pigmented but it's valentine's day it's the day of love let's just let's do a little bit extra you know even if you're alone today valentine's day it's okay be extra be more beautiful just make sure to blend it properly and then i'm going in with this big uh brush and in with the bronzer and i'm going to put that on my eyelid the reason i choose this brush this brush is just because it's easier because i'm just going in with that one color all over my lid so it's just easy and faster life hack i'm going in with this small brush again just to define the eyeshadow a little bit more and i'm going to make this like I, that liner kind of situation with the eyeshadow as you can see what I'm doing I'm following it up with this eyeshadow palette, palette from Evelyn and I'm going in with this beige color and with this brush I'm just going to put it on my lid and I'm going to make this gradient eyeshadow moment so I wanted the eyes to be quite neutral and not too much because we're going to do a red lip and i just think it's too much if the eyeshadow was extra and the lips was extra so just go subtle with the eyeshadow look And then I'm going in with an eyeliner from Essence and just putting it in the inner corner of my eyes to give me this cat eye look. So it's very sexy and seductive, you know, kind of look. Then I'm going in with this clean brush and just brushing away the excess powder that I use to set and highlight my face. And I'm also taking this opportunity to just blend my blush a little bit more with my under eye. Then I'm going in with this powder from Kiko and it's a bit lighter than my other powders and I use it to like give me a bright under eye. This one is totally optional. I just like the look but you can option out of it if you think it's too much. I'm going to take the same br uh, brush as before for my um, that I used to set my face and just making sure that everything is completely blended perfectly together. Going in with Vaseline on my lips, I'm going to use this eyeliner from the makeup library, it's a brown eyeliner and then I'm going to outline my lips because uh we're going to do this nice beautiful ombre red lipstick and i just like to use a brown liner rather than a black one i'm going in with this red lipstick from christmas cosmetics it's so beautiful so pigmented pigmented but it can be quite drying so that's why you have to use lip balm or vaseline before you put it on So I'm just going to take my finger and blend it out with the liner and then I'm going in with the liner again and making this gradient beautiful ombre lipstick and then just outlining my lips once more in case like I like wash it off when I was using my finger 
then I'm going in with the mascara from Essence and this black eyeliner from the supermarket near me that I bought for like no money to give me a more dramatic look and then I'm going in with this liquid highlighter I don't remember where I bought it it's been such a long time ago I bought it but I really really like it I put it on my nose only on my nose really I don't like highlighter so much and whatever's left on my finger I put it on my chin and then I'm going to set my face with a setting spray for the last time and this was the look girls do you like it i think it's so beautiful so subtle thank you so much for watching have a nice valentine's day bye